Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Birkbeck Garcia. I'm one of the pediatricians at Kaiser Permanente. I want to thank Mayor Cox and Chairman Tenenbaum and everybody with the Pool Safely campaign for inviting me to come speak today. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, every day, 10 people die of unintentional drowning. Two out of these 10 people are children. For each child that dies from a drowning, four receive care in the emergency room. And half of these, so two out of these four, end up requiring further hospitalization. They can suffer severe injuries, including memory problems, learning disabilities, paralysis, to remaining in a vegetative state. As a physician, I have heard many parents say, I only turned around for a second. I only reached to answer my phone. I thought I had locked the back door. I only propped the gate open to bring something in from the car. The National Center for Injury Prevention, which is a part of the CDC, reports that 80% of people who die from drownings are male. They also have found that the minority population is one and a half times more likely to suffer a fatal unintentional drowning than their Caucasian counterparts. A CDC study has found that formal swimming lessons can reduce the risk of drowning in children ages one to four. The thing that I want you all to remember today is something that the chairman and Janet have already mentioned. Prevention is a key. One, a responsible adult, a responsible distraction-free adult, should always be around to supervise children, not just in a pool, but any children playing around a pool. Two, learn CPR. That CPR done prior, prior to the arrival of our great, wonderful emergency response teams can save a life. Three, pools should always have a four-sided fence. This fence should contain a self-closing and self-latching door. What would be even better than that would it be to have an alarm on that door also. Remember, don't prop these doors open and always keep them closed. Four, we want to make sure we clear the pool and the surrounding area of toys. These pose a temptation, especially to toddlers who are very, very curious and want to get into everything. And five, if a child is missing, remember, always check the pool first. Don't just scan the surface, don't just look around the pool, but check the bottom of the pool. Seconds can make the difference between life and death. Thank you.